Oh, hi. You guys are here already. It's a good time to see you. Merry Christmas, everyone, and a Happy New Year. This is Samyaj at this side. Do you want to know how you can start practicing data structures and algorithm-based questions from scratch? Do you want to know how do you master data structures and algorithms so that you can crack any product-based companies? And do you want to know how to effectively use lead code to do that without touching cognitive programming? If your answer is yes to any three of it, then continue watching. This is the perfect video to you. If someone says that without cognitive programming, it is almost impossible to break into any product-based companies, then I must say you, it is completely wrong and competitive programming is in fact not required at all to get into most of the product-based companies. And before starting, I will just say quickly, if you want to be part of my mock interview series, then head to the Instagram account that I have mentioned in the description below, follow me and send me a message saying that. Without further ado, let's get started. Hi, as you might have seen in the intro of this video, I will be discussing in detail how you can master any topic of data structures and algorithm from scratch. How you can practice, what strategy you should take up while practicing these questions so that you can continuously grow and learn in each of these topics and master them such that you can crack any product-based company interviews. And I will start off by saying that you absolutely do not require any competitive programming knowledge or competitive programming to crack the interviews, the online assessments, the online coding rounds, on-site interviews of these product-based companies. Here, while explaining the strategy, I will also tell you how you can actually effectively use lead code to improve your data structures and algorithm knowledge as well as coding styles. So lead code is just like any other online coding platform. It has a bunch of questions in it and you can go ahead and solve these questions whichever is present here. Lead code is probably one of the most famous websites because most of the interviewers, most of the people in the industry generally tend to use this website to frame the questions that they want to ask in the interviews. So you can definitely practice lead code in such a way that you can crack any of these interviews easily. As you can see in lead code, there are many tabs that are present. One is the explore tab, the other one is the problems tab, uh, then comes the mock tab, contest tab, and the discuss tab. In this video, I will discuss, uh, I will explain how you can take use of these tabs and improve your knowledge on data structures and algorithm, improve your practice in data structures and algorithm, and hence become better at interview. This is the problems page that is open right now. Uh, here, as you can see, there is a list of problems that are present uh, in LeetCode that you can solve. There are currently around 1,698 at the time of shooting this video uh, problems present, and you can solve any of them that is present to you. Now, I would say how you can effectively use the other attributes or the features of the lead code website so that you can actually improve in data structures and algorithms as well as improve in problem solving if you go down the page you will see there are tags which are present here which are basically topic tags most of the people do not know that in lead code you can actually filter out the problems based on the topics so here if you go to the topics tag you will see different kinds of topics that are present for example array dynamic programming strings math trees step for search hash table binary so now what you can do is basically let's say you are starting out uh, with uh, arrays now i have opened the topic in a new tab here i would say is use other online resources to actually understand the basics of arrays you can use geeks for geeks which is a very good website to actually understand the basics of any data structure once you get the basic idea of what an array is and how we can manipulate it in a certain language what i would say is head over to this particular page in lead code upon opening this particular topic tag in lead code what i would ask you to do is first sort the problems in reverse order of acceptance 
now what does reverse order of acceptance will mean reverse order of acceptance means higher number of people have submitted this question in lesser number of attempts so a 91.6 percent acceptance rate means out of 100 submissions 91.6 times it was accepted by the online judge present which is a indicative that a particular problem might be on the easier side of the problem because most number of people were able to submit these questions without much issue now after sorting it in reverse order of acceptance i would say sort it on the basis of easy medium and hard now since you are starting this out i would suggest that you start with the easy section and then slowly after solving these questions go ahead and move to the medium sections of the problem and then from medium move towards the hard section of the problem the idea while solving lead code based questions should be to solve medium based problems without much difficulty if you are able to solve most of the medium based problems without much difficulty then you can be pretty sure that you are quite close to the goal now i will come to what you should do while actually solving a problem so let's say you open uh, this problem that is present here pancake sorting whatever that problem is you read through the question that is present here you understand the sample input and output that is present here you understand the constraints that are present here now once you understand this you can choose whatever language you want to choose you choose that and you code the solution now there can be two things one you are able to come successfully submit the solution and it is accepted by the online judge second you are not able to do that and you are not able to solve this problem what i would say is do not invest way too much amount of time over a problem if you are not able to do it if you are trying to attempt a medium based problem and if you are spend around one one and a half hours on that problem and you are still not able to solve it it is better to see the solution that is present here every problem might have a solution might not have a solution so you can either go through the solution that is present here what i would suggest is that instead of going through this solution go through the discuss tab that is present for that particular problem whatever the problem is there will always be a discuss tab now you have to understand that lead code is a world renowned site which is used by people across the world for practicing data structures and algorithms so you can post here any question that you want you can see other people what other people have posted what kind of solution they have posted here to understand the concept behind solving a particular problem once you are in the discuss section of a one particular problem what i would say is sort it with the most votes feature uh, what you will see is the answers that have been posted by users by fellow developers which has gotten the most number of votes you can go ahead and open it and try and understand what is the solution how they are trying to do it you can copy it and run it to see what are the output that is coming and you can try and understand it most of the solutions will also have a proper explanation given to it so that you understand the concept behind the problem as well so this discuss feature is super important and you should actively take part in it to understand the concept behind a problem that you are solving now even if you are able to submit the solution successfully it might so happen that the runtime complexity of your solution that got accepted by the online judge might not be the most optimal one what i would do is after submission you will see that lead code itself generates these graphs which will say uh, what was your runtime what was your memory usage uh, it will say that uh, how many java solutions did your runtime actually beat how many java solutions did your memory actually beat what was the average memory distribution how much memory you consumed and so on and so forth and then you can actually understand whether or not your solution is the most optimal one now it might so happen that your solution is not the most optimal one then also you can take the help of this discuss tab to actually understand what different kinds of solutions are present what are the most optimal solutions that are present and so on and so forth for example this person has solved the same problem in o n time complexity and he has explained it properly with complete diagrams and explained the approach here so you can read through it and then understand what people are doing what kind of optimizations they are doing on a particular problem to actually get a deeper understanding of each of the problems that you are solving if you do this then i can guarantee you you will master any kind of data structures and algorithm questions that are present 
out there and you can solve many more such kind of questions easily go through them and try to understand what how they are approaching these problems now once you try to understand that once you start questioning that what is it that they did that you missed in your solution you will understand or you will start understanding in complete detail what is it that is required from your end to be better at problem solving there is no magic number of questions that you need to solve it is completely dependent on you as an individual everybody has different requirements and hence require different number of questions to actually solve so do not fall for the trap of these sde sheets because they are not useful they can certainly provide you a basic questions to start solving and practicing it but do not think that practicing only those questions will guarantee you success in your interviews you should be confident on your problem solving abilities you should understand the concepts behind them and if you do so you will be able to crack any interviews whatsoever after that i would suggest that you can take part in weekly biweekly monthly contests that lead code organizes after having practiced different kinds of topics that are present here what i would suggest is go to the discuss tab that is present in the main page this discuss tab is very important guys i cannot simply stress on the fact how much important this tab is now this discuss tab ha has many different sections but the most important section here is the interview questions and the interview experience what i would suggest that after you have practiced most of the topics that are present under data structures and algorithm you go ahead and go to the interview questions tab and the interview experiences tab now your people from around the world write their interview experiences in different companies so you can quickly go here and search for the company that you want to interview for example you want to interview at google so you can simply search google and it will list n number of interview experiences for google and what are the questions that were asked there what was the experience like how many different rounds were present and so on and so forth if you go to the interview question section as well you will find specific questions that were asked in specific interview rounds for example in online assessment what kind of questions were asked uh, in codeility round what kind of questions were asked in like say facebook's phone uh, interview what kind of questions were asked and so on and so forth ecode has a huge community which is a worldwide growing community which is eager to help other fellow developers hence i strongly suggest that to actually practice data structures and algorithms questions from scratch you can completely rely on lead code to do that lead code has so many free options that are present here that you can use to actually increase your understanding of data structures and algorithms easily without any problems oh the video got over that's so nice I really hope that you like this video and if you did then please do give it a thumbs up and share it among your friends so that even your friends can get benefited from these tips and tricks that I just mentioned if you follow it then I can guarantee you it will boost your confidence and you will definitely be able to crack any product based companies for the data structures and algorithm rounds if you have not subscribed yet already then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and press the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload such content for you guys i have mentioned my instagram profile as well as my linkedin profile down in the comments below you can connect with me there i continuously engage personally with people connecting with me in my instagram account so if you do want to ask me any questions that you have you can go ahead and follow me there thank you for sticking around this is so major bidding goodbye das vidania